<laughs> hey, Phoenix. Yeah? Did you get a haircut? Yeah. Why? Does it suck? It's nice. Oh. I like it. Do you like it? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> you want to tell people what the kids at school said your hair looked like before you got the haircut? Uh, they said that they it looked like an egg. <laughs> they said you looked like an egghead? Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of mean. Yeah, I guess so. But funny. But also kind of funny. That's kind of funny. Anyways, uh, Phoenix is here with uh, no longer an egg-shaped head. I mean, maybe a little bit, but less so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. And today we've got yet another snack box from Boxu. Now, just like before, this is a sponsored video by Boxu, but we're not gonna let that affect our opinions of how good the snacks actually taste. And uh, before we get into it, I also wanna let you guys know that Boxu is still doing their giveaway for tickets to Japan. So what you guys wanna do is head down to the link in my description and use my code TIGER10 for not only 10% off your snack subscription, but also a chance to win those tickets to Japan for anybody that subscribes before the end of the year, which is December 31st. So go down there, use that link, TIGER10 is the code, and uh, best of luck to everybody entering that contest. And I guess without further ado, it's time to get into this. Further Are you excited, Phoenix? You. Yeah. Wait, what? Uh Nothing. What'd you say? Nothing. Say it one more time. Uh, further a doo doo. Further a doo doo. Yeah. Are you sure you want me to leave that in? No. Don't leave it in. <laughs> We're leaving that in. No! <laughs> okay, so here we go, guys. You ready? No. Okay, so we have the pamphlet, just like before. You can't really see the snacks. So there is the uh, snack guide, and we also have a little nice postcard from Boxu. And uh, of course, these are the snacks. Now this time, we already got our picture for the thumbnail, so we don't have to you know, take a break for that. We can get right into the snacks. But uh, I actually wanna read this postcard real quick because they always have a really nice mm. message. So uh, let's see, it says, thank you. Thank you for being a magnificent Boxu member and Happy New Year. Oh, by the way, guys, when I release this video, it's probably gonna be Christmas or Christmas Eve. So Merry Christmas to anybody that celebrates and uh, obviously Happy New Year as well because we are very close to the new year. And uh, yeah, let's keep going. It says, Happy New Year. The Kanto region is my favorite place mm -hmm. to celebrate New Year's because it's the one time of the year that bustling Tokyo becomes serene and reflective, especially when we go on Hatsumode shrine Does visits. Does it mean Kanto region from Pokemon? It must be. <laughs> yeah, they, they must be talking about the Kanto region in Pokemon. Mm -hmm. uh, we're so excited to celebrate new beginnings with you through our snacks and teas and hope this box brings you uh, joy to your festivities. P.S. Did you know we just launched gorgeous handcrafted lifestyle items mm -hmm. at Boxu Market? Head over to boxu.com slash lifestyle to discover what's new. Happy snacking, Danny Tang, founder. So mm -hmm. shout out to Danny, thank you for the very nice message. And uh, this is the snack guide. It says, Kanto New Year. And I'll show you guys some, yes, Kanto as in the region in Pokemon. Uh. And I'll show you guys some of these beautiful images they always have. Like these pamphlets are really, really nice, guys. I'm not just saying that, like they are really well made, so. Here's just a quick look at some of the snacks. Obviously, we'll be doing a reading of each of the descriptions as we go through the box, but I just want to make sure that you guys have an idea of, uh, you know, what these booklets are all about, because you can tell they definitely spend a lot of time on them. So, there you have it. So, uh, yeah, Phoenix, why don't you just pick out the first snack here? Let's start with something... Well, uh, the... Sweet, maybe? The thing that's covering the entire uh, box is this. Yes, yes, so let's try that one first. So this is pure premium. It looks like some kind of strawberry gummy candy. Yeah. There it is, and they are heart-shaped. And they also have a filling, it looks like. There it is. So it's a puree gummy premium Tochio Tome strawberry. This premium gummy is bursting with the flavor of Tochio Tome strawberries a special fruit from Tochigi Prefecture. Plus, it's coated in mouth-wateringly sour crystals. That sounds good to me. Okay. Sounds good. 
So, we'll grab one here. Oh, this is a little sour. Uh, there is the gummy, guys. It's heart shaped. I really like this gummy. Mmm. Okay, so, like, I'm not trying to devalue this snack, but it does remind me a little bit of one of those, like, juicy fruit gushers, right? Because it has that filling. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah, so it's kind of like that. It's better than that. Don't get me wrong. But that's the idea that you guys can refer to if you want to know exactly what it's like to eat one of these. So, yeah, it's very good, man. It's very, very good. Perfect level of sweetness and a little bit of sour. And you get that gooey filling as well which I'm a big fan of. So, Phoenix, what's it gonna be? Um, I really like it, but I don't want to go that high, so I'm going at 8.5. 8.5 is pretty high. So if you don't want to go that high, and you're still giving it... 8.4. And 8.5, uh, fine, 8.4 still. Yeah. Really high. Phoenix, if this was like the third or fourth snack probably, he would give it like a nine. Yeah. Right, so there you have it guys. Delicious. Now, Let's uh, do one of my choosing. So, I mean, we do have this big yellow package here, which I want to get out of the way. So let's grab this. There is a giraffe. Why don't you open it? Why don't you open it? Let me find the description here. Okay, so this is Lucky Mayo Curry Okaki Rice Cracker. A rice cracker, a rice cracker that combines two of our favorite flavors. Japanese curry and Japanese mayonnaise. After you've admired the adorable giraffe on the bag, you'll smell the heady aroma of curry spices for a wonderfully savory senbei. Senbei. Okay, well, there's the package. And it looks like little fried looking things. I love Japanese curry. Mmm. <laughs> Dude. That's great. It, yo, it's literally Japanese curry and Japanese mayo, both of which are delicious flavors, right? I'm giving it 8.5. So on par with the strawberry? Uh, I like it more because it's savory. I've always been more of a savory person, so. Me too. I gotta give that a nine. Mm, but it's a, a little strong. Think the curry's strong? Yeah. I don't know. I think it's a good level. <coughs> yeah, I think it's good. I'm gonna give it a nine. Yeah, it, it is like a strong flavor, but it's a strong, really good flavor, right? So, I mean, I think a nine's fair. Okay. Okay. Do you no. agree? No. You don't agree? I give it an 8.5. That's fine. I don't have to convince you. This is just my my feelings, you know? So <laughs> that is the curry mayonnaise crackers. Two back-to-back -back bangers right there. And now we got some interesting options. I see some uh, mochi in there. I see some of those mochi puffs as well, which we've tried before, but we're always happy to have more of those. Um, we got some tea, which I'm gonna actually take out because we're not gonna have tea on the video, but it is Organic Genmaicha, Japanese green tea blended with roasted rice, which sounds great. So let's put those to the side and Phoenix grab one Go for it Come on, this shoes These? These. <laughs> These, okay. These nuts. <laughs> These nuts <laughs> You really do have to say it every time, huh? You fell into my trap Blame yourself. He has to say it at least once every video. It's just a, a rule at this point. Yeah. Um, I think you passed it actually. I saw oh, the it. D's rule. No, that's not it. My bad. Um, there we go. Okay, Daruma Senbei rice crackers. <laughs> These cute Senbei are shaped like little Daruma, uh, traditional Japanese dolls symbolizing good luck. With eight different flavors like matcha, nori, and black sesame, yeah. you're sure to love them all. Oh, interesting. Okay, so I'll give you guys a look at the package first. And there are eight different crackers in each package. 
So this um, looks like a wasabi one. I don't even feel like I should have, yeah, I feel like I should not have opened a second one because we could just try like all the crackers, but. I don't want to eat this one. You don't want that one? Oh, it looks like wasabi? Yeah. Okay, so I'll give people a look at the um, inside first. So those are all eight of the crackers. As you guys can see, they're all different colors and shapes and sizes. Actually, all the same shape, all the same shape, but different colors and sizes. Wait, and what uh, about I'm assuming this one? every single one is a different flavor. So why don't we try this one first, the big one? No, uh, can you? I want you to try this one first to make sure that's not wasabi. I'm pretty sure it's wasabi. Okay. It looks like wasabi. I'll, I'll try it though. I'll try it though. Okay, so I'll try this. Why don't you try the big one? Okay. Okay. Cheers. I'll touch yours. <laughs> <gasps> Mm. Yeah, it's wasabi. I have that one too. I love wasabi. Mm. I hate it. This one looks spicy. This one's got like little chili flakes on it. Mm. So maybe you don't want that one either. Phoenix doesn't like spicy. It's the slightest bit spicy. It's really not that spicy. Try it. Mm. I would even argue it's not spicy. Okay, so this one, this one looks like it's ketchup. actually ketchup flavored, which is weird because I was under the impression that only Canada had Japanese or <laughs> had uh, ketchup flavored snacks like crackers and, and stuff like that, but maybe not. Yeah, that's ketchup. Okay, so this one looks kind of plain. Maybe it's like salt and vinegar, possibly. Are you good? What happened? Oh, it's spicy. It's spicy? Yeah. I barely taste the spice on that one. Okay, so this one looks like seaweed. Mm-hmm. Yep, the seaweed. Uh, this one looks like it could all, almost be sweet. It's got like an icing sugar on it. I was right. It's icing sugar, so that's a sweet one. What's this? That one I feel like is just like regular, you know, like regular chips, like a little bit salty, but like no extra flavor. And this one is black sesame. It's like, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just black sesame. Mm -hmm. And then this big one, which actually has a face on it. I'm gonna say, stop making noises, Phoenix. <laughs> Are you choking? Are you dying? <laughs> so we need to pause the video? Uh, uh, no. You're good? Okay. And this last one, I don't know what's gonna be, um, what the flavor is gonna be, but... Just kind of plain. Kind of like a plain chip. But good, nonetheless. So, for the just creativity for the variety here. I want to give it a high score. Mm. I think it deserves one just for having so many different flavors. Um, 8.5. Uh, 8.5. I'll give it a 8. 8? Point. What? Wait. <laughs> Wait for it. <laughs> 5. Okay. Okay. So we finally agreed on something. Um, yeah, look, no, look, if, if it was just like one flavor, I would probably only give it like a 8, 7.5. But because there was so much variety, it was actually a lot more fun than it could have been. So I think 8.5 is really fair. And I would say my favorite flavor out of all of them was the wasabi. Regular. Wasabi. Regular. So it's actually a good thing that Phoenix gave me his because I really enjoyed that one. Um, yeah, okay, so let's put this to the side. Another very fun snack right there. And I'm gonna pick the last big bag. Let's go for the last big bag here. Which is this one right here. I believe it is chips. At least it looks like chips. Potato chips. <laughs> Potato chips. Um, oh. Akasaka, Akasaka Shisen Hanten Mochiya Potato Chips Mako Chili Oil. Yeah, not eating it. Mapo chili oil. I'm casting. Uh, maker Sanjin collaborated with the Chinese restaurant Akasaka Shisen Hanten 
<laughs> I don't know how to speak. I don't know how to pronounce this. I'm sorry. Uh, to create these spicy mapo chili flavored chips, you can taste tingly Chinese peppercorns in every crispy bite. Tingly Chinese peppercorns. That sounds interesting. That sounds interesting. Flavor. So, Phoenix might wanna might not wanna try this, but I'm pretty. Zero. I'm pretty excited for it because I love chili stuff or spicy stuff, and. Um, I'm obviously a big fan of Chinese cuisine, so let's see how this goes. Let's see how this goes. It smells good. It smells very good. Like, really savory. Oh. Oh, because that's, that's what the name is. Mapo chili oil. So you guys know Mapo tofu, right? It's a very popular dish in... in Chinese cuisine, and this is exactly what that tastes like in a chip form. And uh, I like it. I like it. it. It does have a little bit of heat. It does have a little bit of spice, just like the tofu dish. But they recreated it perfectly. Like it's 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 amazing how close it resembles the tofu. Not in terms of texture, obviously. The texture is very different. It's crispy, like a chip, but just in terms of the flavor, it's so accurate. Oh yeah, that's one of my favorites so far. Uh, I'm gonna say 8.7. Zero? <laughs> I'll give it a uh, uh, seven. <laughs> this box is too hot for Phoenix to handle. <laughs> There's too many spicy things for him already. <laughs> well, I love it. I love it. I love spice. So there you go. Mapo chili oil potato chips. 8.7. You said what? Mm -mm, seven. That is super fair. I thought you were going to give it like a one. Why did you give it so high? Because I like the savory, but I don't like the spicy. Okay. Oh, that, that's good for Phoenix. So it's clearly a very good snack. If he even has to give it a fair score right so um yeah phoenix why don't we move on we still got a few options here there's actually one big bag at the back if you want to grab that one or do you want to do something smaller that one okay. let's show the people um it looks like some kind of candy bar some uh, kind of butter black thunder something oh no, black thunder we know about black no thunder. thunder we know we know black no thunder. butter so it's a it seems to be a pretty popular candy bar brand in uh, Japan. And this one is Shifuku no Butter flavor. <laughs> Black Thunder is a beloved Japanese chocolate bar that combines chocolate, chocolate cookies, and puffed rice. This premium version contains fermented butters from Hokkaido and France. Hokkaido and France. Uh, that France. takes this chocolate bar from excellent to sublime. Sublime. Okay, well, there's the chocolate bar. Let's see if it's Sublime. From excellent to sus. <laughs> it's very sus. Hmm. Mm. That is extremely sus. Tasty. You're in a mood today. Well, I think it's because it's late. <laughs> You're being kind of weird, <laughs> but it's 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 very late. It's past Phoenix's bedtime, so please forgive the weirdness. Um, <laughs> what do you think, Phoenix? Sus out of Stop! Time. No, <laughs> give it an actual score. That is an actual score. <laughs> That's not a score. Give me a number. Mm. You know what? Forget it. I don't mm. care. I'm gonna give it a eight. Eight point. Three, 8.3. I'm giving 8. I think this is the first time we've done like any, you know, box like this, Two. whether it be from Boxu or anybody else, where we've given every single snack over an eight. Like that is unheard of, but it's just been that good. Like this box has been absolutely killing it, guys. And Phoenix is still being weird, but uh, we're gonna push on. <laughs> we're gonna keep going. Uh, I'm gonna pick the the big bag in the back. Big I don't know what this back. is. I don't know what this is, but let's give it a shot. Um, oh, it looks like black sesame candy. 
There's still butter. Um, Yokohama butter sandwich cookie. Wait, no, that's, that's not, not it. <laughs> what are you talking about? Hold on. It's this one. Black sesame crispy candy. That's what I said. Black ca black sesame crispy candy. This uh, tasty candy is called Arehito and has been around for almost 500 years. A hard shell gives way to a flaky interior flavored with intensely nutty black sesame for a treat. You oh. won't want to stop eating. No, no, that doesn't, that doesn't taste so good. I think I've had stuff like this before. It looks like a chiclet. So they come in these little chiclets, like Phoenix says. And let's just try one. There we go. Mm -hmm. I've definitely had this before. In China, for sure. Hmm. Hmm. I mean... If you're a fan of sesame, that is gonna be perfect for you. I like sesame as a flavor. It's not like my favorite thing in the world, but I, I think uh, it's great. I think it's really good. Seven point nine. You really had to break the trend, huh? Yeah. You had to break the trend of eight and over. This gets a eight on the dot for me. It's a solid eight. So even though Phoenix broke it, the streak is still ongoing for for me. And um, yeah, that I'm was really start delicious. A streak called, I'm gonna start a streak called one and under. I'm just joking, not really. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get this kid to bed very soon. So let's just blast through these uh, remaining snacks. Maybe it'd be better if I didn't eat any of them. I mean, look. You're already pretty hyper. It might be a good idea to stop you, but I think it'd be kind of cruel if I ate all the snacks while he just sat here and watched me. So, <laughs> Phoenix, you Wait. can still have some. Just try to chill out a little bit. Okay? okay. You got it? <laughs> okay. So, we're going for that one. Um, this one is the... I think it's at the back. I think it's at the front. I remember seeing this near the front. Oh, Yokohama yeah. Basha Michi Milfuil. Milfuil. M I L L E F E U I L L E. Milfuil. What? Raspberry. This French style Milfuil pastry comes from Basha Michi, a Yokohama street known for its heavy Western influence, as one of the first international Japanese ports. Milfuil means thousand sheets. Oh, and you can see many layers of flaky pastry filled with creamy raspberry. There's a thousand sheets. I don't think it's a thousand, oh. but I think that's just the uh, name for it because there are many layers of pastry. There you go. It's like a little pastry raspberry cake. Well, that is Delightful. That is delightful. Um, I'll give it a eight. That is so flaky, and and the cream is so light. You know, like it's a really light cream. <sighs> I'll give it eight point one. It really tastes like something you would get from like a pa like a like a pastry shop. You know, like it doesn't seem like something you just got out of a wrapper in a box. It tastes like something you would get from an actual bakery shop like fresh so that is an 8.5 for me it's definitely a weird phoenix today that that's for sure okay phoenix stop <laughs> that's gross okay stop no 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 okay um don't put it in the video that's gonna be in the video you did this to yourself <laughs> all right we've got a few more things um let's try the mochi here it says nectar Nectar. So I'm assuming probably a peach mochi. Yeah. But let's just be sure. Maybe it's a spicy mochi. Maybe it's a wasabi. Fujiya nectar peach mochi. The delicate and sweet taste of Fujiya's nectar peach juice flavors this filled mochi. A sweet rice cake encases fragrant peach jelly and uh, marshmallow. Be sure to enjoy this mochi as soon as possible to best enjoy its soft texture. Did you just steal mine? Uh, so you already had yours. I, I give it a 9.5. A 9.5? Yeah. Wow. So the highest rated snack so far. Alright. I bet well, you would give it one too. 
there you go that is the very soft and 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 stretchy mochi right there it smells amazing it smells just like the best peach you could ever have and uh yeah there we go 9.5 Yeah 9.5 it is <laughs> That is so good Phoenix I know we always rate mochi high right because we both love mochi but this is Show me on another level I mean it's I think we actually had similar mochi in the last one and I think we gave that a 9.5 too so yeah yeah the trend continues 9.5 for this peach mochi if they send us a peach mochi in every single box I would be happy to eat it every single time because it's just so good I need more they only gave us two so we each had one it's gone now but oh my god it's so good Phoenix it's so good Right? Yeah. Right? Right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're both crazy now. Uh, we're both crazy. It's, it's, it's late, guys. But uh, anyways, we got a few more things. It's almost done, though. It's almost over. So why don't we grab these? Uh, let's just open one, because that's a lot. But this, to me, looks like the puff mochi that we had before. Okay, so why don't you open that? And I will find the description. Huh? Um, hey, that's a bit sussy. Oh, it's like mochi puffs. Yeah, it's Fanwari Majin mochi puffs, but it's Hokkaido cheese, so it's cheese flavored. Hmm. Um, this mochi puffs signature light, lighter than air melt in your mouth texture is flavored with cheese from Hokkaido, the premier region for dairy in all of Japan. When it evaporates on your tongue, you'll be left only with its deeply cheesy flavor. So in the past, we had the sweet one, right? It was sweet. This one is cheesy, so I'm assuming maybe a little bit savory. It's cheese. Wow. That is mad cheesy. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, legit though, that is really good. That is like the lightest, most like puffy Cheeto I've ever had, right? Yeah. But it, it's I feel like I feel like calling it a Cheeto is very disrespectful. So I apologize for that. But it's it's kind of got a similar taste, but it tastes more real. I guess the cheese flavor tastes more legit and. Uh, yeah, I gotta give this no lower than a nine. Mm, I think uh, I think it's gotta be a nine. Hmm. It's a little too strong for my liking, sadly. So I give eight points. Too strong in what way? Uh, so uh, the cheesy, it just uh, uh it's uh, a little too much. The cheesy is a little too <laughs> much. <laughs> okay. I'm giving it uh eight. Point nine. An eight point nine for too much cheesy. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I think I think that's fine. That's fine. Okay, so nine for me, eight point nine for Phoenix. We both loved it, obviously, and that is the Hokkaido cheese mochi puffs. Mm. And uh, my turn. I guess it is your turn. Yeah. We only have one, two, three, four. We actually have five different things here. So which one do you want to go with here? Uh. I want to try this because it looks like it's chocolate. Is that it's actually a poop, I believe. <laughs> well I don't want that anymore. No, I mean it's not actually poop, but it shows like a little poop on the package, which mm. is always a good time. I'm not sure if you guys can see clearly, but there is a little Yeah, a little poop at the bottom here. <laughs> what happened to the water? But I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure it's it's chocolate. I'm I'm pretty sure it's chocolate, so it looks like a turtle. <sighs> looks like a churd. <laughs> you know chocolate turtles? Yes. Uh, you're right. It does look like a turtle. Not what I said. 
<laughs> this one is Country Ma'am Choco Mamir. Uh, Choco Mamir means lots of chocolate, and this cookie really lives up to its name. Each bite is stuffed with chocolate chips and covered in chocolate as well. Try dunking this into some milk or tea for a pleasant afternoon. That is... Very good. That is much chocolate. That is that is a lot of chocolate. It's like um one of those chocolate pie things. Yeah. Choco pie. One of those choco pies. But more chocolate and less pie. Like cake, right? Usually those things have like cake filling or some kind of like uh marshmallow. Yeah, yeah, like a marshmallow filling, right? Yeah. But this one is just all chocolate. Like what would have been the marshmallow is chocolate. What would have been the cake is chocolate. is chocolate. So it's just all chocolate. And Phoenix, what would you rate that one? A zero. Not really, actually. <laughs> I'll rate it a uh, 8.5. Fairly decent one. 8.3. 8.3. Fairly <gasps> decent for sure. Very good. But we have to rate it on a scale of like some of the other things we've had. And it's not quite on the same level. But nothing in this box, honestly, so far has been bad. It's not even over yet. We still got three things to try. Why don't we grab these, Phoenix? There you go. It's called Shonan Gold Chocolate Crepe Roll. Chocolate and citrus make great partners, especially when that citrus is from Kanagawa uh, Prefecture. A thin wafer-like cookie is rolled up and filled with sweet and fragrant shonan gold flavored cream for a delicious snack. You couldn't open it, yeah. so you crushed it. Yeah. <laughs> Phoenix, good. Phoenix couldn't. Oh, yo, I'm having hard, hard time too, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yo, I'm, I'm sure the snack is great, but it's hard to open. Okay, so. I got it, but Phoenix couldn't open it, so instead he crushed it into a powder, and he's just eating it through the little hole he made. <laughs> so I'll show you what the actual wafer looks like. It's pretty, pretty standard stuff. There you go, that's the wafer. And... This hole's too small. <laughs> and there's some scissors. And, uh, oh, there's some scissors right there. There you go. So... It's a orange flavored wafer. Very good. Um, light, definitely kind of mild in terms of the flavor. Like it's very obviously citrus orange, but it's just a really light flavor. It's nice though. Mm, I'm giving it eight. It's really, it's really refreshing. Yeah, I'm gonna give it an eight too. I'm gonna give that an eight too. Not much more to say about it, just good. The Yokohama Butter Cream Sandwich Biscuit. Oh no. What? What's wrong with it? There's so much butter today. There's a lot of butter, there's a lot of butter. Maybe it's like a um, Japanese butter. holiday thing. Maybe using a lot of butter, I'm not really sure. National Butter Day. Uh, National Butter Day. Butter dog. Uh, let's see. Yokohama Butter Sandwich Cookie. These butter cookies are a popular gift for tourists visiting Yokohama because each cookie has little vignettes of the uh, city printed on them. These cookies are filled with a luscious buttercream that ba balances the yeah. more savory cookie. Phoenix. Yeah. I was supposed to show them the picture on the cookie. Mm. <laughs> he broke it in half, now he's trying to put it back together. Well, it still fits. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. These cookies are filled with the luscious buttercream that balances the more savory cookies. Maker Takara Seika has been baking in Yokohama since 1946, so we hope you can can taste the history in every bite. So here is a look at the cookie that Phoenix put back together. There you go. Let me just uh, give you guys a nice look here. It's not going to focus, is it? Okay, well, it's not focusing, but trust me, there's a little city here. And on the back, we have some birds, it looks like. There you go. Very cool. So you can have this half. Yeah. Cheers. Hmm. Hmm. 
It's sweet, but it also feels like cheese. Cheese? I don't get the cheese. I get the the butter though. It's mm. like two butter cookies with a uh, white like cream filling, like a sweet cream filling in the middle. Yeah, I I taste it a little too. Yeah, it's good. Eight, eight. Eight. I think we're just getting lazy at this point. <laughs> I think we're both really tired, and uh, <laughs> everything is just an eight, unless something really blows us away, which I which I doubt. But you never know. We still got this thing here. Open this. What is it? It's a fermented butter cowroo custard financier shown in gold. Get ready for a small cake that packs a flavorful punch. Delicious custard cream and fermented butter pair beautifully with shonan gold, a fragrant citrus found only in Kanagawa Prefecture. Have a bite. Okay. Yeah, I think so there gonna it be is. Done for, for tonight. Um. You know what? I thought I would like it more, but honestly, I don't love it. Hmm. What do you think? Uh, I didn't love it, but I liked it. So, what would you give it? 7.5. That's exactly what I was thinking, too. Yeah, I think I think 7.5 is good, but it's the first snack of giving a lower score than 8, right? Oh, no. Which is kind of sad, because uh, this, this, this box was breaking some records before this, but man, like, it, it's it's good, like, in terms of all the different flavors that are in it, but I think it's just too much citrus, man. Like, it's almost to the point where it was a little bit, uh, a little bitter. So I'm gonna give it a 7.5, which is not to say it was bad, right? It was, it's not bad, 7.5 is a good score, but not quite up to the standard mm. that this box has set so far. So, uh, yeah, we got one last thing. Let's just eat these and uh, we're gonna send this kid to bed because he is about to pass out, I'm sure. So the box is empty now, guys. Black Sesame Okoshi. Okoshi is a crunchy and sweet snack that has been around for over 10 centuries. Oh my god, that's Three crunchy. flavors, black sesame, kinako, and brown sugar unite to form a crispy treat that you won't want to put down. Okay, so there you go. Black sesame okoshi. It's a little square, like that. I love it, it's crunchy. It is crunchy, right about that. I'm giving it an eight. I actually liked it a little bit better. I think I'm gonna give it a 8.4. 8.4. 8 and uh, there you have it guys. It is currently 10 p.m. I think. Oh no. Let me see. That's so late. It is currently 10 p.m. on the dot, actually, so Phoenix usually is in bed an hour before this. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, well, Phoenix, before we go, let's just give our final thoughts about this box. Mm. What do you think? Uh, I would rate it, uh, well, I think the average was like 8.1. Okay. I'm pretty sure it was higher mm -hmm. for me, but 8.1 for you? Yeah. Well, um... I think that's way too low. I think that is ludicrous. I'm gonna give it a 8.9 overall. Mm. Uh, this is by far one of the best um, subscription Japanese snack boxes I've ever had. Uh, <laughs> like everything was great except for like maybe one thing that I didn't love, but I still really liked. Mm. So you can't really go wrong with uh, with that, guys. I mean, this 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 box was phenomenal. Shout out to Boxy once again for sending it over. We really appreciate it. Thank you for sponsoring the channel. And uh, once again, guys, head down to the link in my description. Use Tiger10 as your code to save 10% off your subscription. And uh, also to enter that contest for tickets to Japan, which is running from now until December 31st. So get your entries in as soon as possible. And uh, that's it. I guess that's all we gotta say. Thank you so much to Phoenix mm -hmm. for being here. <laughs> and and uh, we are gonna head to bed, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you'll like what you see, then definitely 
hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. While you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. Phoenix, any last words? Uh, I just want to go to bed. <laughs> Me too. Me too. Okay, so, uh, yeah, have an awesome day, guys. I'm Tiger. This is Phoenix with Tiger Africa Media. Signing out.